In this video I'm going to show you how to make a quick form in base to help you load images into a table. Uh, dealing with binary data uh, is always a little different than straight text numeric and date fields. It's going to make a connection. It's going to be of type PostgreSQL. Uh, the host will be gamma dot Athena dot BCIT dot CA and the DB name will be your banner ID lowercase a. So that lowercase a is very important. Let's go next. Password is required. Username again is your banner ID lowercase a. Lowercase a is very important. Always want to test the connection if you have that capability. So we'll go back and just fix that. So it should just be host H O S T Gamma dot Athena dot B C T dot C A D B name all one word. Next and we'll try that again. Was successful. We'll go next and save the connection. So it's remembered uh, my H bar GST 7132 mod 7 data folder. And I'll just call this. Uh, M 07. So you can call it M07, I'll call it M07 net. So I'll bring base onto the screen. working in forms. So you can see that my mod 7 database is there. And it's going to right click on parcels and edit. And you can see that I've already added the map column byte A and add the primary key. So I'm good to go. Primary key is very important because base won't let you edit the table unless there's a primary key on it. So let's go to forms. And I'll create a new form with the wizard. And so the table I'm going to pick, it's going to scroll down slowly, it's in my mod 7, parcels. Shoot all the columns across, go next. There's no subform on this one, so click next. Don't do the data sheet view. Do a uh, columnar or tabular view. Uh, this is what the form looks like. Uh, and that's fine. I'm going to go in and edit this and make the map bigger after. So I'll go next. Uh, this this is fine. We'll go next. Might change the color to a to a blue. Next. I'll call it for mod seven parcels. So F R M M zero seven parcels. And I want to modify the form. When I'm done, we will finished. Slide this over into view. And all I want to do is sort of make this much larger. There we go. I won't worry. Usually I would want the label a little bit closer, but for now that's good enough. I'll go save. Close this. Save it again. So we're almost good to go uh, for editing. Double click on the form. I'll bring it over. Now you can see that it's on 26. So there's uh, 
one of, if we go to the last record, we have 92. If I go back to the first one, 26. And then all you have to do is you have to uh, sort of right click on the image and insert an image from. And either uh, if, if you copy the data over, it'll be in your H uh, bar JST7132 mod uh, 7 data folder. So it's remembered where I was. This is my H var JST7132 mod data images folder because I've previously copied this data off of the J. And I just need to click on lot 26 and uh, I'll just do a, I'm going to bring up uh, a query window as well so we can see. So I have pgmin3 open. I'm going to open up a new query window. I'll slide it over. And just to confirm that the images are going in, I'm going to go select count. I'll go uh, the map column. Uh, the count only goes up if there's data in the map column. If the map column is null, then uh, the count doesn't go up. And I'll go f uh, from m07.parcels. I'm just going to run this first. It's zero because we haven't loaded any images yet. So as soon as you go next record, right? So I have an image loaded for 26. As soon as I go next record, uh, the way the forms work in most of these database tools is that your changes are saved back to the database. And if I rerun that query, we can see now we have one. So one image is ha has been loaded back into Postgres. Okay, I'll just go back to that first record. We can kind of see it there. Next record is we're on 27. Insert. Grab 27. Let's go next record. We're on 30. Insert. Uh, find 30. Uh, next record. Insert. 31. I'll just go next record and I'll just rerun this query over here. You can see now that we have four in. So you just need to continue loading those images uh, and get them all into the database because we'll be using them on the assignment. This concludes this video.